Uh, good afternoon again. Uh, my name is Jose Colon. Uh, I am with Intertech. I'm going to stand over here. I the last two days, but um, I'm a regional sales director for Intertech. Intertech is a global company uh, that does assurance testing, inspection, and certification uh, for all many different industries. Uh, our division is Intertech Building and Construction, BNC. Uh, and we do testing, inspection, and certification on building products and also for construction projects. Uh, I am based out of Atlanta. We have facilities for testing uh, all over North America, the Middle East, and in China. Uh, here with me from our Orange County, Lake Forest, California uh, lab is Don. Charles, also known as Fred Charles and uh, Jared there at the end. They are here uh, from our Lake Forest facility. Uh, what we're here to see is an impact test. It's, uh, we got a lot of hurricanes out there. I'm sure you've been watching the news continuously when you're in your rooms, the full amount of time you are in your rooms. Uh, last year we were in Atlanta, we had some delays. People couldn't show up to the show because of hurricanes. Well, this test is acquired in hurricane prone regions. Uh, and it's standards like the Florida Building Code, High Velocity Hurricane Zone, uh, TAS 201, 202, and 203, ASTM E1886, E1996, and AMA 506. Also, the Texas Department of Insurance, uh, EI, they also require this for their coastal counties. So the barrel you see there, uh, aiming towards the window, that's a regular window, regular non-impact window. I think it's a annealed glass. I don't even know if it's insulated. That's just your typical non-impact window that's used in a lot of different types of building. And uh, the missile is going to be going at 34 miles per hour. It's a nine pound two by four. And I say 34 miles per hour and you're probably like, well, the storm out there is you know, 100 plus mile per hour winds, whatever. Well, the test is based on 100 plus mile per hour wind speeds picking up any object. It could be a roof tile, it could be a chair, a canopy, and projecting it in the air and hitting something. So the nine pound two by four is striking the glass. It's about 400 pounds per square inch. And uh, that's what we're doing. He's gonna air up the cannon. He'll say all clear. And the goal here is you're trying to protect your house. You, know, you hear about all the evacuations and things like that because of flooding. Well, if you have a good constructed house and you protect the openings with impact-resistant glass or shutters or plywood, you'll be okay. But if you don't do anything, this is what happens. Sometimes people try to put tape, like you see people putting duct tape or masking tape on the glass thinking that's going to help you. It doesn't. Again, it's a nine pound two by four at 34 miles per hour. A little bit more. Every morning we practice these shots at our labs to make sure we're shooting at the right speed, right location. So, like I said, typical window, annealed glass. What happens? The missile went right through, and now you have rain, you have wind going into your structure, and usually what happens next is what you, what you see a lot in the news and the hurricane footage is the roof coming off the structure. You want to make sure and keep your envelope and facade uh, closed. Uh, in addition to this, this is a hurricane test. There's also a tornado test. Uh, the tornado standard is uh, ICC 500, and that requires a 15-pound missile. Their highest level is a 15-pound missile at 100 miles per hour. That's based on 250 mile per hour design wind speed. So, all right. So uh, now what we're putting on the impact stand is uh, an impact resistant window, fixed window with. Uh, uh, insulated IG laminated glass. The window was provided to us by Western Window Systems uh, and it's got laminated glass um, just like the windshield of your car 
It has a thicker inner layer. The glass itself is insulated, so you'll, you'll see the glass break. You'll, it has a quarter inch tempered sacrificial light in the front, airspace, half inch airspace, and then I think 916 laminated, and the inner layer I think is a Carrari uh, SG. Uh, there's plastic inner layers, there's polycarbonate inner layers, there's liquid inner layers for laminated glass. So there's a lot of different options. The test we're doing, again, 9 pound 2x4 at 34 miles per hour, is used for any product, any building product, not just glass, not just windows, but wall panels, skylights, curtain walls, storefronts, and so forth, up to 30 feet in elevation. Anything above 30 feet in elevation has to pass the small missile impact test, which we use ball bearings for. This typical unit uh, is just a fixed window, so if you were making this type of window, uh, it would be impacted at the center and also at the corner. It would just not just be one shot, it would be two shots. And uh, in addition to the impact and cyclic test, it would go through air, water, uh, structural testing and four century standards uh, from AMA, ASTM, and also the TAS standards. And after it gets impacted, the glass will break, but you, we should not have any penetration. The missile will not penetrate the glass. And after we impact it, we then go through uh, a wind load cyclic test. Uh, that uh, recreates what a hurricane does when it's going through town. Uh, you've probably heard in the past or seen in the news how people say the walls or the glass or the window they're breathing. Well, that's a cyclic test. We make sure that the glass stays in place, the product stays closed, uh, things like that. It usually lasts about three or four hour test, 9,000 cycles, 4,500 in one direction, 4,500 in another direction. Again, our goal here is this should bounce off. The glass will break, but it, the missile should bounce off. Sacrificial ladder glass broke, but the laminated glass did not break. Uh, no missile penetration. Usually that piece also breaks. I don't know what the exact speed was there. Uh, but then we put it against the wall and we do a cyclic load test. Uh, but that's what you want. You don't want breakage uh, on the on the lami. You want your structural still, uh, still closed. You don't want air and water coming into your house. Uh, so that's a successful test. If you have any questions, we're here. Uh, we have some uh, free koozies and pens and handouts. Uh, come talk to me. I'm lonely. Okay. All right. Bye. Thank you very much for coming.